today it's a lunchtime special, Tuesday's lunchtime special as usual, and I'm delighted to say that I've got a guest in the studio. She is called Kate. She is actually called Kate Kroshitska. Good afternoon, Kate, and welcome to the show. Hello. <laughs> oh, there you are. Right, now then, um, Kate, you are a very accomplished violin player. I've heard you playing, and it's just wonderful um, where you are with your violin playing, but... This started at the very early age of six when you heard Vanessa May play, is that, is that about right? Yes, that's right. I actually heard her and saw her performing um, when I was watching TV with my family. And I think she was doing a concert with uh, Berlin Philharmonic. This is when I said to my mum to uh, get me the violin and I wanted to go to music school myself. <laughs> Quite uh, strange. And, and this was in Poland when you were yes, younger. Yes, when I was yeah, six. Yeah. <laughs> really, it is a young age to, because I mean, I mean, I play music and I, I didn't start till I was, I think, 14, 15, something like that. And uh, is there music in your family? Well, yes, my mum is a music teacher and she runs some sort of little choirs in the area. My brother plays accordion and piano and he attended the same music school as I later did. So there was music around the family when you were very young anyway? Yes, always. Uh, that would have given you some great encouragement. Yes, I think so, because my grandfather used to be very musical uh -huh. as well. Uh -huh. He sang all the time. Even my grandma said once that he should have been in a choir. Uh -huh. And yes, then my cousin uh, played piano. Later, he actually attended the same music school and started playing marimba, that is a percussion instrument now mm, he's yeah. studying as well abroad so um yes i think my family has quite a lot of uh musical genes so you, your family could have put on a show t by itself really of all different instruments i think it? yes yeah. <laughs> easily and, do you ever get together to play um we used to and we like my cousins and my brother me we used to play when we've been younger, especially during festive uh, events or Christmas time, but unfortunately nowadays we are all grown up and we don't have a chance mm -hmm. to meet so often yeah. and play together. I bet that's a shame for you. Have you thought of this before? Yes, but because we are now in different parts of <laughs> of Europe, it's it's really difficult mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. to actually be in the same place at the same time. Well, all you need to do is become very famous and very rich, so you could say to your family, "Okay, come on, <laughs> come on over. It's all arranged." That would be nice. <laughs> um, Kate, you uh, graduated from the secondary boarding school. Uh, specializing in music in Poland and um, you relocated over here to the UK and uh, you studied music at the University of Leeds. Could you tell us about that? Yes, um, this was actually my first and the only choice to attend Leeds University and do the music course in there. I was quite young when making this choice but I do not regret it because mm. it opened my views on all sorts of different genres of music because for 16 years I think of my life I've been in this specialist music school focusing predominantly on classical music mm. and going to its university was just like a breakthrough to more popular mm. Music. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. And yes, I mean world music as well. Mm. I've been doing things that I would never think about before. I attended some sort of Cuban band as well. So, yes, it, it was a great experience and wonderful people, certainly. I've invited you here to any one of them to have a chat, but also to play. Yes. Uh, could, is it possible you could play a song for us right now? Yes, I think I will play for you Brave Art Theme. Okay.
Wonderful. That was a very, very nice kit. Thank you very much. Wow. I don't think this studio has had such uh, quality of <laughs> music before. Thank you very much. And what uh, could you tell us what piece that was? That was Brave Fire Theme by me and actually my pianist, Elena Hale. Oh, right. So she pre-recorded the piano for me. That was lovely. Yes. Mm -hmm. We still work on the track. So in, oh. in the future it will have full orchestra. Oh, right. But at the moment we just made the, the main structure. <laughs> Well, thank you. That was great. That uh, uh, I mean, um, where does that piece of music stand in your uh, scale of favourites? Is it anywhere? Is it near the top of your favourites at all? At the moment, yeah. I think because I still work on this, yeah. from my creative sort of point of view, it is somewhere on top because I really enjoy playing it. Um, moving on to your biography, um, Kate, you regularly performed with the Leeds uh, University Philharmonic Orchestra. That must yes. have been fun because you were actually co-leader of the first violin section. Oh yes, that was hard work. <laughs> uh, in what way? Um, material, you know, it's it's not easy for the first violins, so it was a lot of practice and mm. having in mind so many players behind, making everybody in time and in tune. It, you, as, a, as a still university, semi-professional. Those two words you've just used, they just you pass them by quickly, in tune and in time, they're the vital things for musicians. And yes. I, I think people who are not musicians would not know or appreciate those two words are so vitally important in music. I think they are the most important mm -hmm. core oh. <laughs> structural musical uh, points because you can't really oh. produce anything that that has some sort of I think musical value and timing is so important to be in time with with people you play. Well, I mean it's different when you have pre-recorded backing oh. track and it's different to actually play live as, you know, like 40, 50 players together mm -hmm. to be exactly on the conductor's beat. <laughs> well, that's the point. I mean, the point is you, ha you have two things. You have the music, which is in front of you, but you also have the conductor. And if there are six or maybe 12, I don't know, violins playing exactly the same piece, mm -hmm. you must start and finish every note together and uh, that seems especially when they to me. When, when they are when they are such fast runs <laughs> yes. i remember we were doing a uh, west side story um we actually done this with i think halifax opera mm. society and it's not as easy as it would sound for first violence mm. so yeah. we we required a lot of work together um, you also, as well as classical music, you play contemporary and popular pieces of music as well, don't you? Yes, I do. Uh, and h how do you feel about doing that? Are you happy with that? Um, yes, actually, I more and more enjoy doing it because I think I'm quite a creative person and I found myself, I mean, find myself enjoying making music as happy, like, it, it makes me as happy to make music than to perform. So when I can make some sort of piece or arrangement and then perform this, it makes me like hyper happy, really. Yeah, and, and also on uh, popular pieces, do you find that you get more um, a better reaction playing popular pieces? Do people appreciate that more? Uh, obviously, it depends where you're playing. I understand that. I mean, we, because I've been growing up in post-modern world, you know, like I had, I've always heard popular music on radio, on TV, supermarkets, shopping centers, popular music is always there. And at the same time, I was, I was doing classical music. So it's, um, I think people nowadays are more focused, well, more orientated towards popular music rather than classical. Classical yeah. is still some sort of, in some ways for, as somebody would say, elites. So I think via popular music I can express myself more yeah. and more. I have mm -hmm. a chance to actually be heard by more people who would never actually think about the violin in uh, such way. 
Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you there. Um, but probably um, um, classical music will all, will always be there for you, will it? Oh yes, uh -huh. because this is something I've been brought yes. up with. And it must be great fun. I mean, I know you perform solo and in bands and in orchestras. <laughs> Obviously, there must be completely different experiences. Um, how do you feel about those different uh, kind of genres, if you like? Every genre has is positives and negatives. Oh yeah, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> I mean, orchestra is great, but I can't find myself doing this yet. I think mm. I'm I'm too young. I want to explore right. different styles and genres. And I love performing. And I have so many opportunities to be performing solo. Mm. And I truly love expressing myself mm -hmm. to other people and this is what I am at the moment focused on on my solo career but playing with bands was always fun when you you have the, all, all of the instruments going and you just play the violin well I just play the violin and I can feel within some sort of as well musical structure mm. of the piece and have my little solo perhaps I mean it's it, it's nice to explore and so many so many genres because this is how I think I've been developing as a musician mm. That's right. Well, the thing is, you've gone down the correct route by studying music in universities, and studying music in what people would say the correct way, if you like. But there are also people who have just learned music at home and just had a had a good time just playing. Um, but that was never going to be the way you were going to go, was it? Was it? No, I yeah. always wanted to do everything properly, <laughs> correctly, in the right order. Yeah, okay. I mean, when I've been at Leeds University, I've been actually studying violin in there, not like music, but violin was my main instrument study. And I still had great teachers teaching me throughout all of my degree. And I mean, I could have done this differently, but that is, I decided on Leeds University that gave me a lot of chances that other places I think would narrow me slightly more yeah, whilst I could you. develop myself and my musical taste. Is and I guess you would end up with more opportunities uh, the more experience you have in different kinds of music. You, you never know where an opportunity is going to arrive, uh, arise. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, could we have another piece of music from you? Of course. Um, the next piece that I'm going to play is going to be Elvis song can't help falling in love with you. Elvis Presley. Yes. Far too. Uh, this girl is far too young for Elvis Presley. <laughs> <laughs>
I was almost singing along there. <laughs> that would have improved things, I must not say. That was very nice, Kate, thank you. Um, do you need to get your breath back? Yes. <laughs> thank you. Um, it, it just occurred to me that um, young musicians and young entertainers, every one of them has an ambition, has ambition, where they want to go, where they want to be. How would you answer that question as far as you are concerned? Well, as far, as long as I am doing music, I will be happy. Mm -hmm. At the moment, there are quite a few things possibly going wrong. Um, <laughs> I have chances for some sort of contract, but like not recording contracts, concert contracts. But um, yes, we, we will see. I mean, I will be in seven heaven because it would mean one day I could be in Australia, second day I could be in America. I mean, we shall see. I don't want to say too much. Yeah, that's fine. But that's fine. Um, yeah. yes, I, I have already some sort of opportunities options. rising up. It, it's great to have options and um, I know you have people who are taking care of you as well. Is that right? Yes. That's good. You need people to look after you. <laughs> Do you know what, uh, Kate, if you, had, if you were allowed one wish as far as your music is concerned, what would that one wish be? Oh, I think I've got a stumped here. <laughs> <laughs> one wish. One wish. Apart, I mean, obviously, most of us would say, well, I want loads of money. <laughs> no, I mean, no. I am not that okay. bothered about mm -hmm. the money. Not, I don't really have much, but <laughs> I... I am more bothered about the music I'm doing, yeah. to be honest. That's why um, I asked the question. Yes, I think one wish would be to have my own sort of show, a violin show. I think that would really make me happy. There are other wishes I'm playing with really famous people and amazing people, but um, yes, I think my show would be something I would be very happy to be doing. Well, I don't see why you can't uh, get that uh, sooner or later. That, that, that sounds like it would be okay. Um, but, um, Kate, um, contact details if anybody would like to uh, see what your music like or, or online. Have you got online uh, presence? Yes. Um, my website is www.katebiolin.co.uk and if people simply type in Google my name, that is Kate, and my surname, that is far more complicated. Go on. <laughs> um, Hrusticka, I should spell it, I think, C-H-R-U-S-C-I-C-K-A. Then in Google and YouTube, there is so much of my music for downloads via iTunes or to listen on YouTube so like anybody can have a listen in their spare mm. time if they would like to. The good thing for me, one of the many good things for me uh, about you Kate is the fact that you can play these different kinds of music which as we said earlier gives you all these different options so uh, we, we could we could see you, who knows, you could be playing pop music in the future in a, in a big way. Have you thought of that sort of side of things? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> be great. That would be that would be really good as long as I can actually make this music. Of course. <laughs> Not only play, oh, but I uh, have some sort of input whilst making this music. That would be good. Kate, um, I've asked you if you'll play three pieces for us today. Have you got a thought of what your third piece might be? Yes, it's also a very romantic piece of music and it is called Have I Told You Lately? Oh, okay, that'll be great. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Have I told you lately <laughs> that I love you? Yes, all right, I know. I'm stopping already. <laughs> um, Kate's just getting herself organised with the violin and uh, she's in position. Um, and she's getting ready to play. Um, I, think, I think we're just about all plugged in, Andrew. Yeah, ready to go. Go for it.
That was beautiful, Kate. Thank you very much. Um, so we've talked about your past. Yes. The future. <laughs> Uh, what what is happening now with you? Are you busy doing all kinds of gigs? Yes, I'm. Um, I'm actually graduating at the moment with my master's degree from Royal Northern College of Music, mm. and I had my final recital recital in the end of May. Now just dissertation left and graduation in December. But my schedule is absolutely packed at the moment. I am doing two or three per per performances a week minimum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, in August. I I played somewhere every every day or every second day, so I, it's it's been really exhausting. I'm actually very tired, and I have to admit, yesterday my mom said that she booked me a holiday <laughs> <laughs> just to take me away from work. So she's taking care of you as well. Yes. Yeah, you, you need. We all need looking after sometime in our lives. Uh, the thing about um, your your music career. Uh, you don't know where it's gonna go which is kind of exciting as well it is sort of exciting uh -huh. I am not worried at the moment because as I say I have so many dates booked up to 2015 but uh, we shall see what the future brings me really because I already released two independent albums uh, first one is a popular one the second one is a classical one second one is available for purchase from even HMV and all major online stars and the first one only via my website due to copyright issues so yes I'm quite happy with what I'm doing at the moment really <laughs> Brilliant. well I mean the, the thing for me is and believe me it's better to be busy and rather wonder than how, have nothing to wonder do. how you're gonna fit things in rather than as you say what where's my next appointment coming from that, that's what I think and I, I think if you have a deep thought about it you probably might think the same way yes <laughs> I, th I, I think exactly the same way it's just finding the right balance mm -hmm. between the work and private life and then practicing because <laughs> you know performing is a one thing oh. but practicing is a second completely different uh, <laughs> different thing you need hours and hours mm -hmm. on your own just playing and practicing and people do not realize this how much actually time it Absolutely. takes to get things right Kate, I would like to thank you very much for coming on my show today. Yeah, welcome. It's been a lovely experience for us all here, and I hope you uh, have enjoyed yourself, and um, we wish you all the success in the future that uh, you deserve, really. Thank you very much, Kate. Thank you.